Hi, everybody. Welcome to another good episode of Ink Impressions. I'm Jennifer Shirk, and today we are going to be talking about faux metal accents. You can see on the background here on this Peace on Earth card that I have put a few on here. I'm going to show you how to do this. First, we're going to use the Ranger Embossing Dauber to cover the entire surface of this cardstock. You can also use a Versamark ink pad if you don't have the dauber at home and it will work very similarly. Next, we're going to add some silver Ranger embossing powder and make sure that you get it all over. If you miss a couple spots, it actually is okay with this project because we are going to be repeating these steps four different times to get a nice thick layer of embossing powder. So I kind of speed that up so you can see the shine start to develop. And then go ahead, like I said, this would be step two, pour the powder. And then we're gonna heat it up again. And this is a very time consuming ordeal, but it's well worth it. Um, we're going to use Mama Elephant's Peace on Earth set. And there you can see the faux metal accents that I've created in the powder. So this is the final step. So this would be the fourth time that I am embossing. And in this step, I'm working in smaller sections because time is of the essence with this it tends to dry really fast. And in order to get these accents imprinted into the, the embossing powder, you need to act very quickly. And you'll see what I mean in just a sec. And I'm just speeding up the process again. So this video doesn't take half hour. And there I go imprinting with the stamps. And I try to get a fourth one in there, but as you can see, it dried too quick. Um, but the best part with this technique is that if you screw up, all you have to do is remelt the powder and it will um, basically do what you want. So again, this is just a small section that I'm working through. And the embossing powder dries on your stamps, but it comes off and cleans off very, very easily. And I realized that I hadn't melted that all the way. So I went ahead and you can see kind of those two stars down there disappearing. So then I just went in and stamped them again. Um, this stuff is very forgiving. And that's what it looked like when I repeated it all around the card. So now we're going to stamp out our greeting and we're going to press really hard on our block to make a good ink impression. And this is all, of course, using Versamark. And we're going to go ahead and emboss with silver powder again. And I don't use an embossing buddy because honestly, I usually forget about it and I'm in the middle of heating um, when I remember it. So I usually get um, pretty nice embossings. Go ahead and heat that up so it's nice and hot. And then we're going to use quite a bit of adhesive um, to attach all this to the card as the background is a little bit heavier than normal cardstock because it has four layers of embossing powder on it. And there is our nice, beautiful card with our faux metal accents. And I've tried this technique once too with a butterfly and it turned out really pretty. So the next technique I'm gonna show you is called black ice. And you'll notice the background there has some black on it. And this one's a lot quicker. You only use one layer of embossing powder with this one. And you wanna use silver again. I'm gonna go ahead and heat, make it nice and quick, and there we go. That's how that turns out. Now for this technique, you wanna use Stazon Jet Black Ink, and depending on how 
inked up your ink pad is kind of depends on how heavy you press. Mine was pretty dry, so I kind of had to press pretty heavy. Uh, but when we did this at my Stampin' Up! demonstrators place, uh, hers was pretty inky um, and we just kind of wanted to lightly move it across the paper. And this picks up kind of all the little imperfections, I guess you can say, of the embossing powder or all the little raises and dips and um, just gives it a really cool look. This would be great on a masculine card too. I hope you enjoyed this video and I have an eBay store and I have a lot of great rubber stamping and craft products. So feel free to visit that. And if you'd like this video, I would love it if you would subscribe and I will see you next time with another crafting video.